barely over 6,000 pounds. Despite having two slides, this is a 318 KZ Spree bunkhouse. Just came in here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, the uh, previous owners just sold it outright to us. They simply had no need for a camper anymore. The last couple seasons, they basically not used it, although they really did a good job of keeping, especially the interior, very, very clean. Um, it represents more of a basic starter class lightweight. If you're looking to do some casual camping, just get the family out a couple times a year, this would be a great way to take a big family camping without breaking the bank and not needing a giant, you know, one ton dually or something. With both slides closed, you can navigate through, you can get to most of your kitchen. If you had to get to the bathroom, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You just kind of put your foot on that lower ladder rung and you could get to the bathroom door or you could pick one of the kids up and put them over there. So if you had a, uh, we're going down the road, mommy, daddy, I got to use the bathroom emergency sort of situation. This one could probably get you by and obviously you could pack up most of your clothes and uh, you know, really pack up your kitchen on this thing anytime you need. You don't need the slide out. But you will really appreciate having the slides out. And as I mentioned when the video began, the inside of this thing is virtually what I call time capsule kept. It looks absolutely stellar. They kept this thing spick and span clean. Uh, when they did use it, they certainly didn't beat it up. Now that is a jackknife fold down sofa and uh, the front of that I believe can fold down to access some storage below because I see a piano hinge across the base of it. Big long u dinette so if you have an adult who needs to sleep over, like maybe you have a big extended family and your kids kids are coming camping or something like that. Well, big place to put them down here in addition to the bunks we haven't got to. Plus there's storage all the way under that. I do like that we have uh, breeze windows all around. We have uh, cabinet ducted heating, which means no vents in the flooring. So uh, uh, especially if you notice the high level of, uh, you know, basically there's only minimal carpet in this RV. There is some in front of the slide. There is some in the bedroom, as we'll see when I turn around in a minute. But, you know, most of it is carpetless, so very easy to keep clean, swept out. The kitchen has a very fair amount of storage to it as well. That is something that was done pretty fairly here. And you notice they put just... Cabinet doors and drawers on everything. Anywhere and everywhere there's possibly going to be a place for storage, they put it, including this big pantry right next to the fridge. Um, the bunk area here. This is not an uncommon floor plan, but you don't tend to find it with a bunk slide much in the modern market right here. It's got a little bit of what I would call a Jack and Jill bunkhouse, but you can see how that little extra bunk is peeking out of the bottom there. This is a classic, what's called trundle bed. So that big lower bunk mattress, there's another one of those that you can slide open in what is basically a giant drawer. Uh, if you need to really sleep absolutely anybody and everybody in here. And I do like how the ladder is built in with that safety gate to get you to the upper bed. Um, it looks like woodwork that might match the original stuff. I don't think it's factory original, but if it's not, whoever added it in there did a pretty bang up job doing it. Now, uh, back here in the corner, there's pretty minimalist storage in this little area, but you do have your own little entertainment hookups. And there is a, a modest amount of uh, hanging storage here next to the bunks as well. Although I bet you could put an extra hanging bar in there and kind of double that. The bathroom is simple, but effective. It does what you need to do and nothing more, nothing less. There is a, a little linen cabinet over here on the left as you walk in. There's also, it's actually kind of neat how they did this. There's a, a double mirrored vanity, one on each wall so that if you, uh, you know when you wake up when you're camping and you look super good right after you get out of bed, note the sarcasm, well you can really see every little nook and cranny of your, you know, face still greasy and sweaty from being next to the fire pit last night, covered in mosquito repellent. You get the idea. Um, once again, the uh, plentiful cabinetry in the kitchen presents itself. Now, this also has a rather deep set of cabinets surrounding the entertainment center here. That is a, a DVD stereo, by the way, and uh, we do have sliding pocket privacy doors to close off the master bedroom, so you can't have a private front area. If I'm going to be just ultra picky, the like this window shade right here that little anchor just needs popped back into the wall it looks like it must have pulled out and simply from heat expansion and contraction a little bit of the like contact paper used on the interior luon panels of this laminated wall a little bit of that has wrinkled but it's it's not 
water. It's not water damage because it's not moldy. It's not discolored. It's just, it, you know, expansion and contraction. That happens sometimes. Kind of like if you steam a stamp, you know? The uh, full-length hanging closets. So a lot of brands will give you either a, a full-length closet or a side stand with a sharp jab corner. This one gives you the benefit of that no sharp jab corner while still giving you a nice open side stand that you can use and not feel claustrophobic. Now, you might notice how the original bedspread doesn't quite fit. That's because the original camp queen was swapped out for a much nicer residential queen. So, um, you know, even if you replace a mattress after the fact, you can fit a normal household queen in this thing. The exterior of the camper is just about the only thing that really shows its age. Um, again, being a more base level, budget friendly, lightweight kind of camper. It never had the world's flashiest, fanciest, high grade decals or anything like that. It was stored outside. I will say though, they did keep it clean. I have been on the roof, I've walked all over the roof. I can't find any problems with any seals or anything like that. I'm not displeased with what I see. Uh, the uh, power tongue jack makes, you know, getting hooked up to your weight distribution and off a little bit easier. Obviously it saves a lot of cranking. The tires look good. I didn't see any sort of weather checking or funky wear patterns, so the RV hasn't been overloaded and drug around too much. I like all the hookups in one little spot too, especially with that outside shower right there as sort of a little, you know, convenience center kind of thing. Doesn't look like the spare tires ever touch the ground, which, you know, is good for a whole bunch of reasons. The spare tire covers weathered a little bit, but uh, a simple inexpensive slip cover like that, it's doing its job. The idea is that that cover eats the weather instead of the tire, because God forbid you ever have to change a tire, you better hope your spare is in good shape. Uh, the awning's not the largest, but it is easy, power awning, and it's enough. You've got plenty of room here for a picnic table. And I mentioned that the tires are in good shape, but let me get you right up here to look at it. Because while I do, you will also notice, as I pan across here, that it does have a uh, Moride suspension system, or pardon me, an Equiflex suspension system, the LCI uh, variant. So that will help with some of the bucking and chucking in transit to help give you a nicer, smoother ride. Previous owners did upgrade the entry handle to make coming and going a little simple and easy. And this does have a pretty good front storage compartment in here, nice and wide open. And again, it's not all scarred up and banged up. The folks were not hard on this camper. If you don't mind a couple flaky cosmetic decals, if what you're looking for is, you know, a fairly solid camper that hasn't been beat up and you're on a budget, but you got a big family, guys, here you go. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. With the, with, bitty, 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 that's all, folks.